welcome to Hayes and Union, home of the Wildcats. But tonight, for the first time in 52 years, we're not Wildcats, we're Terriers. So I want to start by thanking a few people. First, I want to thank People's Academy for being our opponent tonight and our rival. Uh, this will be the 225th time that we played, starting in 1911. I also want to thank several people that made this happen, helped make this happen. Uh, Helen Willie. Norm Rodriguez, Pat Huzzy, Dave Brown, and Mike Clark were huge in getting the word out to everyone and just getting enthusiasm. And uh, I just really appreciate it. We couldn't have done it without all their help, especially Mike and Pat with everything they do with the alumni. I think we should give them a hand. for giving us some of the great things the manner that you saw out there. And if you look at the trophy case, they've given us on loan the 1931 state championship trophy from Harvard Academy's boys basketball team. It's in great condition. We want to thank Scott Kerner and Winning Image Graphics for all of these awesome shirts. So thank you, Scott. I want to thank Todd Delarusvier and Randy Lumsden for a lot of the work they've done behind the scenes for some important things tonight. And the Royal Valley Ford. And I want to thank Annette Ann and the cheerleaders who are going to be coming out here soon to, to cheer you get this place going. He's going to go through and call out the rosters 
Gentlemen, if you can come down and unveil the banner for us.
good evening and welcome to the Wildcats Den here at Hazen Union High School, PA Hardwick, Hazen Union. Tip off right now, Lance Hall with the call, James Salvis, actually I'm on color, James Salvis with the call. For HCTV Channel 1080 on your local cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight, uh, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, Jumpstart Your Future. Take it away, James. And now you see V with it, Fuzier with it up at the top of the key. Now Beck with it. He's going to look inside Follinsby. Outside Beck with it. Fires one back to Mace across them and on the wing now, Veet with it. Veet now finds Follinsby up at the top of the key. Mace with it. He'll look to Beck. Lance, you see PA in white tonight and Hazen or all of the Hardwick Terriers in purple. Yes, wearing the purple and gold. We're celebrating Hardwick Academy tonight. And what an electric scene it is here at the Den. I mean, you've got two rivals like this together. 225th time we're playing each other, dating back to 1911. Yes. And Brennan Moody picks up the foul there. Fallen's be with it. I'll go nice in out dribble. Sorry to cut you off, Lance. Dumped no, inside for Fuzier. He missed it. Now Hill. That's Xavier Hill, the thrill. The X-Man. <laughs> oh, he dumps it inside. Rivard up through the contact. No good. Rebound down Fuzier. Fuzier chins it. Looks, in, looks for a guard. He'll find Beck now. Beck's going to push the pace. The crafty senior for the People's Academy Wolves. Kind of ironic tonight, James. We have a Hazen alumnus and a PA alumnus. Yes. Doing the call. Yes. Me from People's and Lance from Hazen, obviously, folks. Mace now. <clears throat> Mace with it, he'll look inside, find Fugier. Hand off for Mace, he's doubled, picked up quick by Baker. Now Beck with it, Beck looked like he wanted to shoot the three there. Now he'll find Veet. <clears throat> inside Follinsby, he's gonna go to work, he's doubled. Outside Mace with it. Mace now, Follinsby looked for a cutting Veet. Oh, nice up fake by Follinsby, they're gonna say he traveled. Brother Orty caught him on the little <laughs> stutter step there. Mike Orton, veteran referee tonight out here. Yes. Very big in the Williamstown community. Yes. His son Tyler Orton played there. And up goes the chant of you can't do that. This crowd might get shippy tonight, Lance. Yeah, could be. If it's anything like the JV game. Oh, that was a great game. Rebound inside. Oh! Fuzier, I thought, had a clean block I there, Lance. I thought he did, too. Clean block. Brother Orty with the call on the block. You see Todd what? Yando pleading his case. So Rivard's going to head to the line and shoot two. Tyler Rivard coming off a tremendous night uh, Wednesday against Enosburg. Set the all-time record for points scored in a game for Hardwick Academy and Hazen with 50 points. I don't think that's a record that's ever going to be touched, Lance. Rivard hits them both there. He's got two now on the I'll evening. tell you, it hadn't been touched in a while. Bruce Putvain had held that record for a long time. Was it Bruce Putvain? I was told yes. it was Dimitri Vasiliadis. Nope. Vasiliadis came close, but Bruce had it. See, Elliot Kimball gave me that information, so I figured the Big Red Machine would give me a reliable Bruce Putman sword. had 45 back in 1966 against Waterbury. Vasiliadis scored 42 against Fairfax in 2013. Now Follinsby with it inside. Oh, stolen away. Baker, he's on the run. Oh, Follinsby, look at the speed. He gets back. Good soccer player. Rivard fouled inside. I think that's going to be two on Jacob Fugier, Lance. Going to put him in foul trouble early here. We're only 549 left to go in the first period. Oh, no, that's going to come back to Gus V. Gus V, it's okay. Surprising, I didn't even see V down there anywhere. As you see, Lance, a big People's Academy crowd here tonight. Always up here. The big Route 15 rivalry. That it is. Looking through Coach Aaron Hill's extensive record book. And, uh, in and here, I'm sure it's exquisite. It's, it's amazing, the stats. Oh, Rivard missed the second one. He has an entire page just on the Hardwick Hazen versus People's Academy history. Oh, I believe it. It's probably a big sheet. As of now, now Viet. Viet oh. looking for anybody to get the ball to. Five count. Five count from brother uh, Buddy Orton. Brother, that's brother, brother, Orton. brother, brother Orty, yes. Brother Orty. Brother Orty. Did you see Lincoln, the mayor, Mitchid there, all inbound? The Prez. The Prez. See, I always get it mixed up, Lance. Yeah, I've been calling him the mayor, yep. president, same thing, really. The, yeah, pretty much. Now Rivard with it. Rivard, nice up fake. Outside finds little Brendan Moody. Three up, and he gets it. Brendan Moody against his former team. 6-0 lead for the Cats. 
Gus Veet with the push off, three up. Oh, and Gus Veet answers back. Gus Veet, the sharp shooting senior for the People's Academy Wolves, knocks it down. Moody just got crushed out there. Moody Mo get crushed by Veet at the other end too. I that, think Veet sees a little bit of a size advantage That was for Hudson himself. Mace who just absolutely forearm shivered Moody right out of the way on that. I'm he amazed sure there wasn't a call on that. I was amazed there wasn't a player control here. Oh, Fallensby up through the contact, Lance. Thought he was going to score that one for the bucket and the bruise, but he'll head to the line for two for the deuce. Overall wins, uh, and this was updated in 2022, of the 224 games played so far, Hardwick Hazen has 115 wins, People's Academy with 109. So a very tight, tight battle. Yeah. Uh, back in the Hardwick Academy days, PA had the edge 60 to 55. <laughs> Hazen with the edge once we incorporated here with a 61 to 52. So very, very close though, Lance, you see, in both, even in both. Yeah, big time Collins history. hit the first. Big time history, I'll get into that here in a little bit. I've got some great uh, great history here as well. Fallensby, you see a little unorthodox free throw, but yep. he knocks it down. Whatever it takes to get it in, you know? Yep. Now Hill, he'll find Baker. Baker top of the key, Mitchett, now Moody with it. He's picked up by Mace. Over now Hill with it, picked up by Beck. Hard screen there by Mitchett, three up by Hill, and it's good. The X-Man. Or as I like to call him, Lance Hill, the thrill. Yes. Now Mace. Kind of surprised the student section is kind of just uh, standing over there right now. Really spread out. You know, Lance, I still haven't figured out why they row. Oh, I have an answer for that. I, I had a former student text me the other day, Facebook messaged me. Let me, uh, let me get in here and we'll. Oh, and a dump inside for Fuzier. He missed it. Hill's going to push the pace. Hill now, he's going inside. He's got White all around him goes up. He's fouled hard. I'm sure there's not going to be much complaint there. Foul inside by about three People's Academy Wolves players. Sends the X-Man to the line. Now, according to Emma Bador, who watches our game, she's living down in Alabama now, former Hazen student. The rowing thing is because they're rowing away with a win. Ah. Uh, I often wondered, oh, hell, that one bounced around and rattled in. It did. So I want to thank uh, Emma for finding that out for me. Yes, thank you. Lance and I were both curious. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, folks, if my, if my voice is a little bit hoarse. JV game was intense. It was an intense JV game. Oh, there. hell, missed the second one. Rivard gets the rebound, though. Turn around inside. Makes it a seven-point lead for the Cats. Rivard has, has to go five. first. Rivard with five points on the evening already. Now, Fallensby trying to salute the offense there. Mace inside, he's bumped. Nice take by Hudson Mace, the sophomore. Referee Alejandra Berenicher with the whistle. That was a mouthful to announce. Oh, it was, Lance. I felt bad for you. I made it through. Now, Lance, I unintentionally wore a yellow and green shirt today. That's okay. I wore oh. my purple. Beck, jump shot, good to go. Sawyer Beck lands. You see, he has a high arc and jump shot. Really tough one to block. Such a sweet shot for Sawyer Beck. Nice looking shot. You see him, and that's uh, a comparable matchup between him and Xavier Hill, about the same it size. Is. Yep. Should be a good one to watch tonight. Yes, two steady scorers, too. Moody, Moody. he'll get him off in a hurry. Short. That's up, no good. Rebound down, Veet. Now Beck's going to push it up. You see, Beck kind of a big guard for the Wolves. Mm -hmm as is Hill for the Wildcats. Now Fallensby, he'll find Beck. Beck, turn around everybody. I don't know everybody. Hill now, he'll find Baker, top of the key. Mitchett now, Mitchett inside. Oh, poked away by Fallensby, poked right back to Gabe. Mitchett on the deck, go the... Oh, should have been a jump ball now, Rivard's foul. Oh, the late jump ball yeah, call late, there. Real late jump ball call. I mean, Rivard was already going up for it. You see Aaron Hill not yeah. happy about that one. Possession arrow does give the ball to the Cats, so. So Hill inbound under the hoop. <laughs> X-Man. Oh, inside Gabe Mitchett almost lost it. And a travel. Okay, a travel. Gabe Mitchett just lost his footing lost a little his, bit there. Lost his balance there. Happens. I think you see Fallensby over there trying to get a little, little bit of a game plan from his coaches. 
Follinsby there might have a favorable matchup with Gabe Mitchell. Follinsby, the steady scorer for the Wolves. Averaged 21 points a game last year, Lance. Good now, score. Now Lynch, he'll find Mace. Double dribble. They call the double dribble there on Hudson Mace. I only saw him use one hand there, Lance. I don't know. Referee Brian McCarthy standing right there. He McCarthy is a very good official in yeah, his own right. Now you see they'll switch back to Follinsby on Rivard. Speaking of which, Hill bounces it inside to him. Nice double there by Beck and Follinsby. Rivard turn around. Doesn't oh, that's no good. Now Beck will get the rebound. Trying to get that shooter's roll. <laughs> Yep, Beck's gonna push the pace. Beck will wave him off now. Now Veet with it, top of the key. Inside finds Lynch. Ooh, wanted fake the handoff there, nice move. Ooh, Beck, jump shot up, no good, hard off the iron. Veet, good job to hustle back. Moody, nice hang, but gets a, gets a rebound. Turn around, Mitch. Had, nope, can't get it. Getting chippy under the basket. Yes. Mace lost it. Ball staying with Hazen. Ooh. I, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, Lance. That got poked away by the by Purple, in my opinion. Not just saying that because it was Peoples losing it. It did. It did look close. It looked, in fact, like Mace got it stripped, but. Ref right there with the call. 47 seconds left, Cats up 12-7. Hill inbounds it. Fast moving first quarter. Yes. Oh, Mitch had nice cut, he missed it though. Prez, you don't see him miss those very often. No, that was a great cut by Lincoln Mitch. It Mitchett. was. As you see, I think the Wolves here are just gonna try and work some of the clock out here, try and find a good shot. Oh, that was a good one for Noah Lynch. Oh, Lynch forced it there, trying to look for Fallensby. Veet, you see getting big in there. 20 seconds, no need to hurry. Set something up. See, that's the shot they were looking for. Next Hill up off the front of the rim. No good, Fallensby's gonna push the pace. Fallensby, you see Joe Bonanno, an excellent JV coach. Runner from Fallensby up and no good. Rivard, half court heave, yeah. oh. Into the rafters. At the end of one, it's the Cats up 12-7 over their arch rival People's Academy Wolves in a very, very fast-paced first quarter. Lance, that might be the lowest scoring quarter I've seen from the Wildcats this year. Speaking of scoring, uh, they have scored 385 points in their five games. They've only given up 176. Their average margin of victory is 41.8 points. Closest game they've had is the one Wednesday night, 88-64. Against yes. Unisburg, that was the most points they've scored in a game with the most points they've given up in a game. So, uh, yeah, some very prolific uh, offense by <laughs> by the Cats. And this uh, PA team has come in here and pretty much shut them down. You know, 12 points in one quarter, yeah. Let me tell you, Lance, this, this PA team, they've played real, real hard today. Real, real hard. Absolutely. Uh, talk a little about Hardwick Academy. Of course, we're celebrating Hardwick Academy tonight. They won a basketball championship back in 1931 with a record of 14 and 8. They were runners up in 1922, 29, 63, and 64. Hardwick Academy, of course, was built back uh, late, eight, like 1890, something like that. Uh, and I believe, uh, if memory serves me correctly, the last graduating class to come out of there was 1970 because Hazen opened up in the fall of 1970. And uh, a lot of history, a lot of heritage here tonight. Yes. With, and uh, we put a new banner up uh, celebrating the runners up, the state champions and the runners up. And uh, they've been the Wildcats. Ever since. Once they came up here to Hazen, became the Wildcats. Before that, it was the Terriers. They wore the purple and gold. And then became the red, white, and blue, you know? Yeah, it's definitely weird seeing them in purple, though, Lance. Throwback jerseys tonight. Oh, back and Veet. Miscommunication there. Speaking of a throwback. That's off Mitchell. Go ahead, Lance. I was just going to say that, you know, we're talking about throwback jerseys. That was a throwback pass right there. Sure was. And celebrating a birthday today. LeBron James. And Tiger Woods. Yes. It's also Bacon Day. Yes. LeBron James, the GOAT. Tiger greatest, Woods. Greatest of all time. And Tiger, Tiger Woods as well. Considered the GOAT as well. Two GOATs born on one day. Ooh, Lynch now. He's got a tough matchup in there. Oh, up no good. 
inside. Mitchett lost it. Nice awareness by Mitchett to throw that off Lynch out of bounds. Great presence by the president, by the prez. Yeah. X-Man. You know, Lance, I kind of like the mayor. The mayor? Because <laughs> it goes with his last name, M, Mayor. Oh, yeah. Mitchett. M and M, yeah. <laughs> Eminem, Lincoln Mitchell. Yeah. Mayor, Speaking of him, Mayor Mitchell. Mayor Mitchell. Tyler fights his way inbounds. Off the glass. Gets it. Makes uh, Hazen doubling it up, PA 14 7 right now. Rivard with seven points on the night. You see, the Wolves are playing tough in there, but there's not a whole lot they can do about Rivard. Oh, inside Fallensby. Not a whole lot any team's been able to do about Tyler. Mace, this year. three up. Oh, roll. Did everything around. but go down through. And an offensive foul on Rivard that wasn't called. And a travel for Tyler Rivard. One of the few times you'll see him take a jump shot. Yeah, yeah. maybe that's what happened. Rivard scores so well around the basket, he really doesn't need to take a lot of jump shots. And I don't think I, Lance, I saw Rivard take three threes all season his freshman year. Really? To be fair, he can two of them. Technically, that half-court heave will count as a three, but. I think that's the first three he's attempted all year. Back with it now, picked up by Mitchett. Yeah, you don't see Tyler shooting from outside all that much. I mean, he's too effective inside. Exactly. Baron Achera sounds her whistle. Yes, right there for that one, Lance. Lynch took a step too many. You see, Fuzier is spending extended time on the bench for the Wolves with two fouls. Coming back in now, though. Two teams have played each other in the playoffs six times. Hazen is up by, with a 4-2 advantage. Give her the years and what happened next break. 21, that's a legendary number for the People's Academy Wolves. Nick Holbrook wore that number. <coughs> Four-year varsity player and starter for the Wolves. Helped lead us to the Barry Auditorium in his senior year. Now Rivard with it. Tyler hanging outside tonight. He is. The Prez underneath. Lincoln Mitchell, first basket of the night. See, now, I, see, I like the Prez with President Lincoln. Yeah, that's good. You Prez. Know? That's a good one. Oh, back. I, I think you saw a little bit of a mismatch, mismatch there with uh, Mitchell. Oh, now back looking for Fallensby finds Lynch. Knocked away by Rivard. And he's fouled. Lynch doing a good job. I think the Wolves are doing a good job, Lance, and not giving Rivard anything easy around the basket. Of the uh, playoff wins that Hazen had, we won four times, 1929 in a play down, 1981 in a championship, a legendary championship game, 1996 another championship game, 2011 in the quarterfinals. People bested us twice, 1990 in a quarterfinal and 1993 in a quarterfinal. And everybody tells me, Lance, I have a, uh, a former assistant coach at PA was on that 81 team. And he says to this day that PA won that championship. There's a lot of controversy over that game still going, indeed. Uh, from 1984 to 94, Hazen went one in 23 against PA and lost 18 straight games at one point. Rivard, I believe, missed the first free throw and got the second. So he's at eight points on the night, 17-7 lead for the Wildcats. They're up by 10. If I remember right, it was a shot by Troy Hayford that went at the end of, uh, was it regulation, I think? Yes. They thought he got it off before, and the referee said he got it off after. Oh, Fallensby, nice take through the contact there, Lance. A la Tyler Rivard on that one. Now outside Moody, he's let him fly tonight. Rivard up. Goes again. They PA crowd wanted to travel. Todd Yando not happy with that one. Mike Orton says no. Todd Yando said yes. I think Mike Orton said there was contact. You know, he put the ball up in contact, then he caught it and went up again. I don't know. Yeah, that's a tough one, Lance. Really hard it to is. tell from up here. Mace, nice pump fake. There, Mike Orton got that one right. <coughs> right there for that one, Lance. That's right. Like you said. Brother Ordy. Brother Ordy. The other thing I'm noticing in 81, that Hazen and PA played a record four games each other that 1981 year when they won the championship. Played each other four times that year. Inbound now, Fallensby will get it. He'll find Pete. 
V dumps it inside Follinsby. Follinsby inside through the contact, no good. Fougier with the rebound right back to Follinsby in through the contact and gets it to go. Chandler Follinsby with six points. 19-11 your score, 420 left to go that's here one, in the first half. That's been uh, one thing for the Wolves tonight, Lance. They're gonna have to have Follinsby play tough with Rivard as his matchup. Absolutely. He's gonna have to play physical. Ooh, Rivard mid-range up, no good. Fougier got hooked on the far side there by Gabe Mitchell. Forgot to read our sponsors there when we started the second, James. Let me give them a quick read. You are watching uh, Hayes and Varsity Basketball on HGTV Channel 1080 www.hctv.us is uh, Coach Hill's going to take a timeout. Sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. Uh, applications now open for any GMTCC programs. Yes, 19-11 uh, uh, lead for the Hayes and Wildcats. Yeah. 408 left to go here in the second quarter. Danny, if while we're sitting here, can we get a shot of the banner that got unveiled up there this, this evening celebrating the Hardwick Academy Terrier, athletic accomplishments in basketball and baseball. A couple of champions up there and uh, some runners up. I think we had five or six guys from some of those teams out on the floor for it. it was, uh, oh yeah, that very, was a very historical there. night here tonight in the yes. dance. You see- uh, The Terrier cheerleaders were out, uh, sang the alma mater. Yes, that was fun to see. It was. You see Lance, so people's numbers, you know, they're, they're pretty low all the way up to 23. They don't have 24 because that was worn by uh, Peyton Verzilli of the People's Academy Wolves. Mm -hmm. Number has since been retired, or so we like to say. Okay. It hasn't actually. It hasn't actually, but <laughs> we say it is. Hudson Mace. He'll take it now. Fujir, top of the key. Now Beck with it. Oh, Beck, nice fake pass. Back outside finds V. Veet, floater up, oh, no good. Fougier with the rebound up through the contact, gets it to go. Jacob Fougier, nice board and later right back in strong. PA scrapping back here, got the lead cut to six. They do, Moody now, he'll find Hill. Now Gabe Mitchett, he'll find Ryan Morrison. Over Moody, looked like he wanted to shoot the three, but, and now Moody drops it out this of bounds. Handle, yep. Moody uh, played for the People's Wolves last year. I once. remember him playing, yep. Good basketball player. Apparently lives in Wolcott, has school choice. Sure does. I mentioned it uh, on Wednesday, Lance. His dad is a legendary race car driver at yes, Thunder Road. Is. His dad is the all-time wins leader in the Tiger Sportsman division at Thunder Road. Couple other Thunder Road racers in attendance here tonight, Lance. I saw Mike Martin here. Yes, Mike Martin in attendance tonight and his son, Stephen Martin, both yep. uh, Thunder Road racers as well. Follinsby tries the dipsy do underneath and gets called on a travel. There you go, Todd Yando getting adamant like he used to. That's the Todd we know and love. Todd used to jump up and down on the sideline, folks. I saw that guy smack the floor yelling defense. I've seen that guy jump into the bleachers. He, he is about as entertaining as they come to watch on the sideline. Tyler was trying to get that one through Inside to X. Inside Beck, he's gonna push the pace. You see Beck the speedster, a track star for the uh, People's Academy Wolves. Beck, he's got a nice match up there with Hill. Outside Mace with it. Mace, that's a fun name to say. It is. Hudson Mace. That's a great name. That's a good, that's a good basketball name. It is, Mace. What's your name? Hudson Mace. It what is. do you do? I play basketball. Right? Now Veet there trying to find the fake. Movement's not been very good for the Wolves. Now Follinsby. 2.15 left to go in the half. Cats up six. What do we got? Offense, player control there on Gus okay. Veet. Brendan Moody channeling his inner LeBron. Good job at selling a foul. Brother Ordy as entertaining as any referee I've ever seen when he gives the foul calls to the scorer's table. His number two, Quinn Kalp gonna come in for Gus Veet, who's a little hot. He'll take a seat. Gus Veet has three fouls tonight for the Wolves. That's so not what got, they want to see. We got him and Fougier in a little bit of trouble already. That's not what they want to see for their sharp shooting guard. Tyler underneath. Referee Brian McCarthy blows his whistle. So that foul is going to come back to Sawyer Beck, his first for the Wolves. He 
You know, another funny uh, Todd Yando story, Lance, while well, I have a second, Rivard free throw good. Um, last year with the referee McCarthy, mm. there was a foul call to PA and Todd didn't like it and he said, come on, he said, come on, he was so straight up, he was touching the stars. <laughs> All time moment from Todd Yando. <laughs> That is a great line. Him and McCarthy have a great relationship. Now, back with it. Both free throws were good by Rebard. Wolves trail by eight. Kalpa, quick one out there for the Wolves. Ooh, Fuzier, a little bit of contact there, lost it. Mace with it. See a lot of guys playing some big, heavy minutes tonight for the yeah. Wolves. And I'll tell you, there's some banging going on out there. There is. Mace with it. Now Kalp with it. 135 left to go in the first half. It's been Cats a quick have increased that lead half. back to eight. It has been a quick game. But I think after that rather pass inside off the oh, glass. Oh, Fuzier with a nice, nice score. Nice move. Great pass, too, from Hudson Mace. After that JV game that, that you literally could have read a copy of War and Peace during, it's uh, nice. It's refreshing to have this game moving a little faster. Yes, Rivard now. Picked up by Follinsby. Outside with it, Hill. Hard screen there by Follinsby. They're going to switch. Who Rivard can't leave him open because he'll can those. Tyler shooting from outside. 14 there. Interesting strategy by Coach Hill. I'm not seeing Tyler playing you know, down and underneath a whole lot tonight. He's been shooting no, from outside. No, I think, I think he's realized the Wolves are going to come at him strong down there in the paint. Oh, nice cut there by Calpe's fouled. Coach Hill's not happy with Tyler drawing his second foul with 44 seconds left in the first half. This aggressive, yes, wise, no. And I think the Prez, Mitch, is going to come in yeah. for him. Coach Hill is <laughs> kind of letting Tyler know that was Mitch just also not has, a good foul to take. But Mitch also has two Lance, so we've got to be careful. Ooh, Cal heavy off the back iron. Wolves, have, their offense has been quite stagnant tonight. Played hard on defense, but their, their I offense. I would say their defense has been good. I mean, they're going to hold Hazen to, you know, theoretically less than 30 points here in the first half. So. Who Kalp missed them both. Ooh, they say uh, Fuzier poked it out there, and he did. Got the hand on it. Ryan the Little Lion inbounds to the X-Man. 40 seconds left here in the first half. Cats up eight. Lance, you come up with these nicknames in a hurry. Ryan the Little Lion Morrison. Ryan Morrison, good ball player for he the is. Wolves. Or for the Wildcats, I yes, mean. Yes, he is. Gabe Mitchett up, loses it. Morrison there. Wow. He's got two. Now the Wolves trail by 10 again. As you see Beck now. Cats building that lead back up. Back outside, Fallensby. Oh, should have shot well, the three ball. It was ball. wide open for that three. Now he's lost it. Body's on the floor. And that's off the that's off the rafters. So halftime, it's the catch with a 10-point lead, 25-15 over the People's Academy Wolves. You're watching uh, HDTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hdtv.us. Sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. Lance Hall on color, James Salvis on the play-by-play. -play. Shall we return at the uh, start of the second half, James? Yes. We'll see you then. All right, we're just about underway, getting ready to get underway here for the second half. The crowd just serenaded Adam Gann on his birthday. So happy birthday, Adam Gann. Absolutely. You are watching He's in Varsity Basketball here on HCTV, Channel 1080, www.hctv.us, streaming worldwide and archived. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Lance Hall on color. James Salvas doing a play-by-play. -play. James, what do you see tonight? We got a good game. Big-time rivalries throw out the records. Hazen's up 10, but that doesn't really mean anything. We got to have to play. We sure do. What do you think? It's, it's been a physical game tonight, yes. Lance. Very, very fast game, too. Mm -hmm. But, yes, hey, Hazen only at 25 points at halftime. That might be the lowest all season. Now inbound, Baker with yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Baker now, he finds Hill. Hill over, finds Moody. Now a quick skip pass, finds Baker. He'll let the three go. That's up no good. Lance, Rebired Jayden. by the press. Jaden, yeah, Jaden, I don't know. He's struggled with the three ball so far this year. V, he'll get it off in a hurry. That's Short. up no good. Fallen's be fighting for it. 
Nice fight there by Chandler Fallins, but to no avail. Baker, very fast though, as you see. He is. Hill, X. up no good. Oh, drop. Fallinsby with the rebound. Now Beck's gonna go to work for the Wolves. See the Wolves in white tonight. Wildcats in purple. Yes, purple and gold celebrating Hardwick Academy tonight. So we had a... Nice catch there by Hudson Mace. Looking like Randy Moss over in the middle. Baron Achera calling the foul on uh, Jaden Baker. That's Jaden's third. Jaden's been in some trouble tonight. Yeah, yes. Uh, but yeah, we're celebrating Hardwick Academy tonight. Everybody wearing the purple and gold. We had some uh, members of some former teams from the champions back in the 60s in basketball and baseball come out. A nice little banner unveiling. And a historical night here. Hill's going to push the, the pace. Inside through the contact. That's a nice take, Lance. The X-Man. Xavier Hill, the thrill, with a nice take there. Scores it. X is as a complete a player as I've seen in quite a while. Yes. His as passing is just otherworldly. It is. Gets his shot off in a hurry, too. You saw the People's fans looked on in disgust there. And you never see him really get too rattled, you know. And a traveling violation there on Tyler Rivard. Yeah. Fallen's be doing a good job to get back and get in his grill a little bit. Yes, exactly. Wolves got to try and put some points on the board, though. The defense has been there. The defense has been there, but the offense has certainly not been. They've had a tough time. They have, but the Hazen defense is excellent. Hazen D is just, uh, you know, like I said, we read the stats earlier. They've held opponents low. They've, you know, won big, but this game's close. Ooh, Mace three up no good. That one looked good, too, Lance. X. Pass outside over finds Moody. Moody. That's not open. the guy to leave open. Short. It's no good, though. Fallensby watches it go out of bounds. Chandler Fallensby has six tough points for the Wolves tonight. All of his baskets, they've been getting physical with him down there, and he's they been scoring been. with it. That they have. He's had a tough matchup. He's had Revard guard him a little bit. Now he's got Lincoln on him. The Prez out there. The Prez and T-Rex. That's a two-headed monster in yeah, the paint. That sure is. Inside Mace with it, he'll find Veet. Ooh. Ooh, Veet. Uh, tried to find a little pass inside for Fallensby. Looks like Fallensby had good position there. He did. Just didn't quite, uh, didn't, didn't quite catch a pass. Yeah, I don't think Veet really put that one where he wanted to. No. Now Hill with it, handoff, finds Moody. Moody Mitchett, another guy who won't shoot a lot either. Student section comes alive. Cats up 12. X drives. Oh, missed okay. it. Underneath. Who was Tyler fighting with there? Who's 22? That was Jacob Fougier, 25. Or 15. I'm so, uh, I yeah, thought it was 20, 22. 21. We don't have a 22. You don't have a 22? It was 21, Jacob Fougier. Okay. I stand corrected. Now Mace. Mace is going to bring it up. See these brand new people's jerseys this year too, Lance. All right. Nice looking jerseys. Kind of a, almost a vintage Celtics look. Yes, that's Fallensby designed them actually. He said he like he loves the old English font. Yep. So do I. Oh, Gabe Mitchett on the deck. Oh, things are Prez getting fast and furious down there. PA defense back, feeds it inside Tyler, throws it up off the glass. Oh, Fougier is number 22, Lance. Usually he's 21. Okay. You stand corrected. I do. Five minutes left to go in the third. He must, had, he must have gotten blood on his jersey because he was 21 in the first half. Okay. It's possibly, yeah. Uh, was that Hazen's first basket or second of the second half? Second. Revard had them both, didn't he? Yes. All right. No, X had one. X-Man had one, Revard had one. Yes, that's right. Just want to make sure I get my points correct. Hill with eight now and Revard with 16. Foul called on the Prez, his third. Yep, Midget in a little bit of trouble. Ryan the Little Lion will come in. Ryan the Little Lion getting some minutes tonight, Lance. He'll be there for him. He will. He's played well in what yes. we've seen of him so far this year. Been a swing player, but he's got minutes on varsity as well. I didn't see him out there much for the JV tonight. No, I think uh, Aaron was probably saving him for this game. Yes. Always a tough matchup when the Wolves come. Yes. Back inside finds Fougier. 
Thought he got fouled. In fact, one of the biggest crowds ever here at the Den, 1,000 people plus for a uh, PA Hazen game back in 1996 when Coach Steve Pratt was here. And Coach Bob Rowe for the People's Academy right, Wolves. There we go. A legendary coach for the Wolves. He's in the VPA Hall of Fame. That foul, I think, is going to come back to Fallensby. Should. As I said, Lance, things are getting a little bit chippy yeah, out here. I mean, Chandler was pretty much riding him all the way down. I don't know how you couldn't call it, you know. Uh, I agree. Drop my eraser, but that's all right. There's one on this. Oh, it's a uh, rebar bucket. And shot the in the foul. The bucket and the bruise, Tyler Rivard. Man, isn't he something, Lance? Second and uh, follows me, picks up two quick fouls in that sequence. Luckily, only his first two. Score 31 15, 425. And Yando wants a timeout. Yando wants a timeout to talk things over as they have yet to score here in the second half. Hazen has put not. up six, PA nothing so far in the second half with 425 left to go in the third. The way this parking lot was filled, I'm shocked. Right? So uh, ironically enough, the uh, PA offense has gone a little cold here in the second half and it was on this day uh, that Bloomfield, Vermont recorded the coldest ever temperature in Vermont, minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. It was back in the 30s. Yes. Yep. 1931 was a good year for the Hardwick Academy. Yep. Division II basketball champs. It's also National Bicarbonate of Soda Day. What and, does that oh, mean? wait. I got a, uh, it's like Alka-Seltzer. Uh, you use it when, you're up, you're, when yeah, your stomach yeah. is upset. Uh, it was on this day in 2020, Becky Hammond, who was an assistant coach for the San Antonio Spurs, became the first female to ever coach an NBA team after Greg Popovich was ejected against the Lakers. Yes. Spurs lost 121-107, but a historical night for the NBA. Yes. A historical night here for Hazen with Hardwick Academy in the purple and gold. So a couple of history-making nights right here. You see, Lance, Tiger Woods a little bit older than LeBron James. Yeah, he's got him by about, uh, what, nine years here? Nine years. Yeah. And LeBron's 38. But I will agree to disagree with you on the GOAT factor. I'll take Larry Bird. A lot any, of any day, all day. Over anybody. Oh, Ryan the Little Lion, he'll miss it. Rebard. No shot. Foul yeah. on the floor, Foul waved off floor. by Brother Ordy. Yep. Follinsby with another one. I'm not sure where or how. Chandler Follinsby has picked up three fouls in about 30 seconds out here. He is. Chandler got a couple, I think, that weren't his. Brother Ordy right there, though. Morrison inside. Things are getting bad here, Lance. Aaron sure. calls off the press. They had started a press. Aaron waved it off. Think up by what? 17, probably a good idea. 18. 18, yeah. probably a good idea. Back, that's up no good. Rebard rebound. Man, the Wolves wanted that one to fall. At this point, they'll take anything that'll fall. Did Rebard hit his last free throw he took, Lance? Brendan Moody with a three, a dagger right there with 3.45 left to go in the third. Puts the catch up 36-15. Tyler missed but got the rebound. And put it back in. And put it back in. Or I think he missed that, and then Ryan put it in and drew the foul or something. That's when the foul was on the floor, okay, I believe. Okay, so that puts Rebard at 20. Gabe with a reach. That'll send, uh, that'll reset things here. Yep. Or he hacked him on the arm, or whatever you want to call it. He fouled him. Brother Ordy. Brother Ordy. Long time, like you said, veteran official. He is. And just an all-around great guy. Yes. Veet now picked up by Moody. Outside finds Beck. Beck now trying to go to work on Hill. Can't find nothing. Outside Mace. He'll tee up the three. It's blocked. Xavier Hill, quick pass. Tried to look for Ryan, the little lion. No good. Wolves will get it back. Much to the chagrin of the Hazen student section. 
That's going to go the way of the Wolves, Lance. Yes, it is. Came up with that my senior year when I was commentating games. I like that, James. The way of the Wolves way of the and wolves. the way of the Wildcats. Yeah. I can say it when they're in town. There you go. In about a 25, 25 minute, half hour drive up Route 15 to get here. What do you have, a player control? Four fouls on Chandler Follinsby. In mere moments. Chandler Follinsby. pleading his coach with the endo. Yeah, Follinsby think, not happy. I think Chandler should consider a career in law. Yeah, Chandler the lawyer, Follinsby. Yeah, I, I think he would make a good lawyer. He's always pleading his case regardless. So I, I think. Although, a, Lance, a you know, feature. I really do feel for him because I think a couple of the fouls he got weren't his. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, you know. It's tough. I'm no it's official. Tough. Yeah. I'm not Brother Ordy. And I'm not going to put a striped shirt on and go down there. Not in this game. No. 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 Oh, now Moody almost loses the handle. Moody outside Hill. You can't let him shoot at all. Oh, I thought that went out of bounds. Yeah, Weebart inside really. had four people around him. So does Mitchett. Ryan goes up. He's going to get fouled. It's going to be on Jacob Fougier, I believe. That'll be his second. Going to send Ryan the little lion to the line with 2.23 left to go here in the third. Hazen, oh, no, that foul is going to be on Noah Lynch's second. Hazen has managed to put up 11 points so far. Unanswered. PA zero. 11-0 run to start the half. Ryan the Little Lion free throw, no good. See Gus Veet talking it over with assistant coach Joe Bonanno on the sideline. Short on that one, and I'm going to say it again. I think all the players should be in here at 5 a.m. tomorrow practicing free throws. Yes. You don't leave until you've made 100 in a row. Nice pass inside. Blocked. Great defense by the Wolves. Yes, great defense there to stop Gabe Mitchett in his tracks. Two minutes left to Time go Time is the ticking for the People's Academy Wolves. 15 points, Lance. Can't win if he can't score. Yes. Hayes' yes. defense has been stepping up big time. It has. Veet floater, no good. Nice rebound. Lynch outside. Beck, he'll tee this one up. Beck, that's up. Out. No good. Whoa! Noah Lynch hooked hard there by Gabe Mitchett in the paint. That's going to come back to him, Lance. You see, he got hooked him just a yeah. little bit there. I mean, Gabe's a big boy. He is. You know those farmers, him, Morgan, and Lincoln. Yep. Now the student section. Hazen has one of the best. Hoosier skip pass over finds Mace. I don't think I've seen Hudson Mace come out of the game tonight for the People's Wolves. And V has three fouls too, Lance. So a couple of the Wolves key players tonight in foul trouble. Our offense is in trouble. Yeah, safe to say. Becca let that Shorts. one go, no good. Lynch tried to save it, right back to Rivard. X. Now Hill with it. Over to Moody. Now Hill, handoff for Moody. Foul called. Noah Lynch, his third. One thirteen left to go in the third. So far, Wildcats pitching a shutout against the PA Wolves. Here in the third quarter. It's been a tough one, but still 36 points is also low for it's the Wildcats. It's low for the Wildcats, yes it is. Take Mid us back to our uh, spring, this past spring uh, calling baseball games, James. Yes, and the year before that and too. And the year before that too, yeah. Gabe drives. So now I can say we've called a PA game together in everything but soccer. That's right. We'll make that happen this year. Yes, I hope. If PA's in town while I'm home, then. Foul called on number 22. Who did you say that was? That is Jacob Fougier, his second. Yep, 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Nobody leaves until you've made 100 free throws in a row. Yep. What a way to close out 2022 though, right? Uh, girls play here next, uh, the fourth against Winooski. The boys next Friday will be hosting Williamstown, kicking off 2023 in grand style.
My scoring might be a little bit off here, Lance, but that's yeah. okay. I have, I have those nights, too, where you just sort of lose track of everything. Well, it's not. Oh, and gosh. And with 38 three. seconds left in the third, a three-pointer, the first points of the quarter. Wow, what a pass by Moody for the Wolves. Inside, Rebard up off the glass. One I know is Rebard does have 22. 22 seconds left in the third as well, and a 20-point lead for the Wildcats as Yando's about to come out of his shirt over here. That's how Yando is. Beat three, oh, almost banked at home. Oh, trust me, Hazen has nightmares about bank shots from over there. Yeah. Enosburg a couple years ago. Oh, and at the end of it. three, it is your Hazen Union Wildcats leading the arch uh, enemy people's, well, arch uh, rival, I should say, People's Academy by a 20 point score, 38 to 18. They held PA to just three points that quarter, only PA scoring with 38 seconds left. Cats yes. put up 13. You know, Lance, I got to try and do some math here because I don't know. Ryan Morrison, I had him at four points, but there's no way because mm. I have Rebard at 22 and Xavier Hill at eight and Brendan Moody with six. Well, I'll tell you what, you double check your math. I'll give us our sponsor readings here. You're watching Hazen Varsity Basketball here on HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. James Salvas with the play-by-play. -play. Lance Hall with the color. Danny on camera. Doing a phenomenal Just job. Just hanging here tonight. Having a good time. Once again, closing out 2022 here at the Den. Uh, Lance will see you guys in 2023. I'll I see will you in 2023, yeah. be back Absolutely. further down Route 15 in Lindenville. Actually, tomorrow, Lance. Took the night off from practice to be here. I heard you did that, and I appreciate you being here tonight. It's made it extra special tonight. Like I said, we've got a PA alumnus and a uh, Hazen Union alumnus up here doing the game, so it doesn't get any better than that. No, it does not. And I'll say you've kept your call fairly civil so far, you know? Yeah. You know, very, uh, I feel like in baseball, I went a, little, went a little the other way from time to time. Well, you know. Happens. It's, it happens. It's, you know, it's okay. Johnny Most. That's right. <laughs> oh my God, there was no more Homer than Johnny Most. That's what my, uh, sometimes my coach at Linden calls me sometimes, Lance, a little, a little Johnny Most. Johnny Most, there we go. Let's Great see. commentator, though. Oh, fantastic. Long time yeah. Celtics commentator. Okay, I could try, I could try and slip into Johnny Most. Now, did you ever hear Johnny Most? You, you, I've no, heard you're clips. not older. You've I've heard, heard clips. clips. Revard, that's up no good, gets the second one, yep. Lance, I if have we get the right sequence, I'll try and slip into a Johnny Most mode for you. I used, to, I used to watch the games on TV and listen to it on radio with him. Yep, now back, Fallen's be back in the game. I'll tell you, that man hated Michael Jordan. Yes, he did. Veet there misses the little floater. He did not like Michael Jordan in the slightest. That foul is going to come back to Brendan Moody. He's got two. As I said, for you race fans, a couple of race legends in attendance mm -hmm. tonight. Mike Martin, Stephen Martin, and Brendan Moody. Cats break that up ball going around like a Plinko chip. And I think we're going to have a reach. Gus Veet there. I thought he got all ball, but... I, Baron saw, him hook, I saw him hooking a little bit of arm out there. But Baron Achera right there for the call. Sends uh, Jaden Baker to the free throw line with 7.19 left to go in the game. Yes, got his feet with four. Baker up no good. Mm -hmm. Lance Baker struggled shooting yes, the ball this yep, year. Yes. Yep. Jaden Baker has had a rough go of it shooting. He scored well around the basket, but he has not yep. shot the ball well. And back into the game also Chandler Follinsby with four fouls. Yes, he's got to be uber careful. Wrap him in bu bubble wrap. Tyler. Oh, Revard. Are we going to see it? Oh, Revard missed that dunk. Follinsby up ahead. He'll Makes score the it. Layup. Chandler with eight. Nice night for him. Baker outside finds Hill. Now Gabe Mitchell with it. Inside finds Jaden Baker. As I just said, he scored well at the hoop, Lance. Bucket and the bruise yeah. for Jaden Baker. Timely bucket and foul pickup. Sawyer Beck there picks up his second. You see 
Coach Todiendo not pleased. Said he had his hands up, Brother Orty. <laughs> Gave him he some did. kind of signal over there. Mike Orton and Todd Yando know each other very well. Baker missed the free throw. Everybody in the gym tomorrow, 5 a.m. Yes. Baker, X. Xavier Hill to thrill. Don't over pass to over to Ryan the Little Lion, and he scores it. Xavier Hill's passing is just otherworldly. As I say it, bird-like passing ability. Bird-like passing. Larry Bird. Maybe Derek Camp-esque. Camp could throw a nice pass, yeah. I mean, he's Hazen's all-time assist leader. He is. You see Fallins be trying to go to work there. He gets fouled hard. Ooh. Fallins be 8-1. He won't have to go into lawyer mode for this one. They called it for him. He will not. Chandler Fallinsby trying to walk it off there for a minute, get a little <laughs> breather. He's got hit pretty hard down there he tonight, has. though, Lance. He's, he has. He's, he's played tough some, inside. He has. He's taken some shots. Oof. Fallinsby heavy. 5 a.m., Chandler. 5 a.m. Fallinsby, a good leave, free throw shooter, too. You don't, you don't leave the gym until you make 100 in a row. Gabe Mitchett has three fouls. Lance. I call it both ways, you know, yes, for both teams do. that miss foul shots. Nobody leaves until you make 100 in a row. Revard's out of the game now, Lance. All and right. Free throw for Fallinsby. He made his second one, 530. 530. And he's only got to make 75 in a row. Yes, because he shot it well. He's three for five. Baker over here, X inside. Whistle. 556, Lance. The Wolves still got a chance to make this a little bit of a game. 44 21, yeah, nothing can happen. Still a lot of time. Yeah, if they get hot, play hard on defense, but it's been tough with this Wildcat defense that it has been oh so good. Whoa, they say Noble Beerworth stepped out on the far side. Baron Achera right there. I don't know about that one. At PA, I would believe it, but. <laughs> I don't know. You've been to the PA gym, Lance. I have. It's a. It's awful. Yeah. <laughs> like playing inside a Cracker Jack box. Yes, Lance, you make a good point. It is like playing in a Cracker Jack box. But we take advantage of it against teams like Hazen who like to get out and transition and run. <clears throat> uh, Baron Achera blows her whistle again. She does. They're going to call that on. White. I heard her say white. No, that'll come back to Ryan the Little Lion Morrison. Oh, it's Ryan the Little Morrison. Okay, so it was, I thought I heard her say white. Okay, so it's on Ryan the Little Lion Morrison. No, Revert had two fouls in the first half, Lions, but has not picked one up in the second half. Fallensby inside, trying to take advantage with Revert out of the game. He's fouled hard. Re nice take there by Chandler Fallensby. He's not as afraid of contact, Lance, no, I can not. tell you that. Fallensby fighting hard in there. He is. He's a gamer. Kay. Oh, Revard is in the game. I'm sorry. That's his third. Here and day. Here and day. 5.30 start last time. If we make a couple more free throws. We'll say 6 o'clock. We'll say 6, 6.30 maybe. Knock it down here. We'll see how he does. Oh, there's got 6, the he got 6, 6, 6 a.m. And he's got to make 50. Makes this one, it'll be 6.30 and yeah. 20. Well, and we'll 25. make this one, that's three out of four. Maybe he'll get excused. Nope, nope. 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 6.30, 50 in a row. 6.30, 50. X-Man. Xavier Hill now, he'll find Gabe, Mitched. Oh, poked away, Wolves thought they had it. See X gonna drive. Score it. 46-22, five minutes left. Beck now, looking for something. Finds Beerworth, Beerworth looks inside. W delayed pass, not a very good one outside. It was wide open over here. Beck is gonna take a dribble, shoot it, no good. Rebound, rebound, X-Man. X-Man pulls up the foul line, shoots short, rebound, the Prez. Lincoln Mitchell, second basket of the night. 48-22, your score. 4.30 left to go in the ball game. Beck's going to bring it up now. Cats so far undefeated on the season, standing at 5-0. Do you know the PA record, James? They are 3-1. 
They've beat Lamoille, Stowe twice, Lamoille and Stowe twice. Hazen after this game will basically have a week off. Won't play, no, I, I think they've got a road game. Next Jayden home Baker game. Baker off to the races, tried to dunk Lance and missed. Rivard with the rebound, goes up, gets fouled. Jaden Baker, interesting to see him go up for a dunk. Yeah. That would be like People's Academy alum Peyton Verzilli trying to do it. Like it just doesn't have, the, doesn't have the bounce. Spud Webb, he is not. Yes, yeah, Spud Webb, he is not. Made a couple references to PA alums. I'll give a couple shout out to some Hazen alums. You see Freddie Larson and the Big Red Machine, Elliot Kimbler here. Mm -hmm. Aisha Gould, Carter Hill. A lot of them in attendance. Everybody here tonight. Trying to think, there's a couple more over there. Cody Davison's here. Cody Davison's here. I see uh, Landon Thompson. I believe that's Randy Lumsden sitting next to him, I think. I can't quite make him out, but I think that's Randy. Looks like it. Rivard, I think, hit him. Uh, miss one, make one. 49-22, four minutes left. I think Rivard missed one and made one right there, so he'll learn the 6 o'clock start time. <laughs> You see Lincoln Mitch at Garden, Garden Chandler way out beyond the arc. Chandler inside, Drive tried inside. to sell a foul. Yeah. Not happy with that one, that kid's gonna be bruised. Hill up, no good. Beck will chase down the rebound. Oh, full court pass, Mahomes. Nice. Yeah, knocked away by Baker. Not gonna give Fallens be the easy hoop that time. Nope. Brendan Moody, he'll come in for Gabe Mitchell. Veet bound. Chandler Follinsby now. Oh, he'll just, he'll let that three go and bury it. Chandler Follinsby. Look at that, see what happens when you shoot the ball, kid. Goes in. Chandler Follinsby, Lance, is always a little bit shy of the jump shot. But the only shot there. you don't make is the one you don't take. Baker underneath, nice second effort. And stolen away, Rebard stole the inbounds. Picked their pockets back here. Tyler up, draws the foul. We, uh, I happen to glance back right there. Tyler just sort of snuck around back there and uh, stole that inbounds pass. And, uh, now Lance, that one I will disagree with. What's that? With uh, Matthews down low. I think Beck got all ball. Try not to get on the refs too much. We'll take, yep, we take the referee's call. Rivard makes his first one. 52-25 your score, 306 left. You see Fallensby hit that three lance, and like I said, he's usually a little bit of a shy jump shooter. I actually think Chandler has a nice jump shot, he just doesn't shoot. Shooter's roll for Rivard on that second free throw. 53-25 <laughs> your score, three minutes left. Here at the Den. Now Beck with it. Ooh, Beck had a nice look. Fuzier inside, he's fouled by Jaden Baker. Baker, yep, yeah. and Baker had a bunch of fouls. That's his, That's his fourth. Fourth. If it is, in fact, a foul. Yeah, it is. Four, a little bit of a rough night for Jaden Baker tonight, Lance. Yeah, but I'll tell you, he's gotten us some points when we needed him. Now you'll see number, uh, you'll see Sully LaFlame check in, who is yep. normally number 10, but he's 33 tonight. All right. With these old Hardwick Academy uniforms. From gosh knows when. And Follinsby is going to come out. Probably for the last time tonight. And number one getting ready to check in. Who's number one, James? Oh, Fuzier missed them both. That is uh, Kale Cochran. Pass inside, Rivard holds up, nice delay. Fuzier, I think he got a little, just got a little caught in the air there. Fenton Meyer leading a cheer over there on the other side. Fenton Meyer, the good baseball player for the yes. Hazen Wildcats. Rivard, steady shooter at the free throw line, Lance. Kale Cochran, he's going to come in for Hudson Mace, and I think that's the first time I've seen Mace come out of the game. Good ball player, the sophomore for Hudson Mace. Bright future ahead for the People's Academy Wolves with him. 
and Beck's gonna follow him to the pine. Revard hit them both, he's at 29. Gus Veet gonna come out. I don't think Gus Veet too happy with how he played tonight for the Wolves. Jacob Fougier gonna come out as well. You see the Wolves putting in the bench now. Few PA fans electing to leave early. Let's hope they're not blocked in. Yes. Because if you are, you might as well just wait. You see, did you see that move by Lincoln Mitchett down low, Lance, to hook and get in front of Carter mm -hmm. Gyron? Oh, Beerworth shot up. Ooh, wanted that one to fall. Brendan Moody. Moody with a travel. travel. Baron Achera explaining the call to Coach Hill. I don't think Aaron Hill agreed, but. <laughs> you know, Lance, maybe you have, because you've been here a little bit longer than me, but I don't think I've ever seen Coach Aaron Hill get a technical foul. Um, maybe a long time ago. That I can remember. Oh, nice take there by Quinn Kalp. That I can remember Aaron getting a technical, I can I cannot remember one. I'm not saying he hasn't. But not that but you I, can not remember. that I can remember. Of course, the technical of all technicals was during a JV game one night when Mike Deman Baker got tossed actually. Got tossed. Earned two and got tossed. The only time in Mike's career. And became yes, and yes, the only technicals called on Mike in his career. And uh, of course that earned him the moniker. Mike Demand, Demand Baker. Uh, yeah, Elliot Kimball was telling me about that, and he said it was very strange. Yeah, it was. It was a strange sequence. Oh, number three, the American Dream, Dustin Panzarelli in there. And you see Morgan Mitchett out there. Yep. We got Sully Laflamme. We have Ryan the Little Lion, and we have Gavin Stratton. Who is this coming down to the table? That is Liam Jerkovitz, I believe. Yep, I believe that is Liam. Yeah, Inside, Ryan the Little Lion. Fouled hard. Gets hacked. Wolves on the losing end of this one tonight. So you can make that, I think, 116 to 109 in the all-time matchup. Uh, yeah, where, yeah, where is my uh, record? Yeah, I had it right here. Did I have it? Yes, 116 to 109. For the Wildcats. Yep. In favor of the Wildcats. In favor of the Wildcats. Home, and it's interesting, home, we have a record of 64 and 46 against PA. And down at PA, it's 48 and 62, almost identical. Yes, but so maybe. So another home maybe. win, home cooking. So of course, that's going back to the Hardwick Academy days, 1911, and you know everything else too. So, you know, maybe back in the, you know, maybe back at People's Academy, things might fare a little better for the Wolves. Definitely. Getting to see the Wildcats for the first time this year. 225th time these two teams have met, dating back to 1911. Lance, you know, only 55 points right now for the Wildcats. So low scoring efforts for the Cats. I or believe they are low scoring for the Cats. Let's just say that the PA defense has played well. They had. They played hard. I mean, they haven't scored well, but they they did a good job to keep Hazen yep. out of real, real danger. Now, Dustin Piangirelli. I actually saw a fellow Hazen alum, his brother, Nate Piangirelli, in attendance. Do you see PA fans are jumping ship? Yes, they are. Oh, Kale Cochran lost it. The PA Wolves fans are headed for the hills. Back, I said, about 20, 20, 25 minutes north back to <laughs> yes, back down Route 15 to Morrisville. Stratton outside finds Morgan Mitchett. I have to find a nickname for Morgan Mitchell, Lance. I'm gonna work on that. And Gavin Stratton as well. You gotta get one for everybody. Warm up the bus. You know, you know that's that's one thing. You know, this Hazen student section always gets loud. Always. One of the very best in the business. 
Ooh, Sully Laflamme, nice move, and he scored it. Sully Laflamme, the freshman who plays both, nice basket there. Nice move and scored that one, Lance. Nice move. See, he's wearing 33 tonight, Lance. He's usually 10. Do you think that's uh, made a difference? Maybe. I'm trying to think of a notable uh, NBA player who wore 33. Outside Beerworth with it. Side Cochran, he'll tee up the three, a little heavy. Up no good, Gyron tries to get the board. When these two teams played back in 19. Oh, hard, hard foul at the basket. When these two teams first played back in 1911, the cost of a gallon of gasoline was 3.2 cents. That's crazy. It's true. I'm Cars reading. were not uh, long in existence then, Lance. I'm, I'm reading it on the internet. It's got to be right. Exactly. <laughs> See, Morgan Mitch had missed that one. Mitch had hits his second, though. Or, I'm sorry, that's Sully Laflame. Am I saying his last name right, Lance? LaFlam. LaFlam. And that'll end your ball game with Hazen picking up the win, 59-26. They'll push their record to 6-0 here at the Den on a night that we celebrated at Hard Rock Academy. That's why you're seeing all the purple and gold. Great, great historical night here. Uh, you've been watching Hazen Varsity Basketball tonight on HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCCC. Jumpstart your future. James, a happy new year to you. And it has been a pleasure to call these games with you. Yes, you as well, Lance. I will see you during baseball season. And I'll be back in 2023 next week when the girls will be hosting Winooski here on the 4th. Until then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.